Okay, so uh, in previous studies we have shown that neoadjuvant uh, immunotherapy and especially epilimumab plus nivolumab gives a high pathologic response rate uh, in the 70 to 80 percent and uh, if patients achieve a pathologic response then they have an almost flat line relapse free survival of hardly any patients relapsing. This is a uh, pooled analysis from the International Neoadjuvant Melanoma Consortium. And uh, in Prado, we now address the question first, because these were only small trials, whether with, with uh, um, now a, a larger cohort of about uh, 100 patients, uh, whether we confirm this high pathologic response rate from neoadjuvant EP plus NIVO. And we wanted to address also the questions, can we uh, decrease the extent of surgery and uh, omit the adjuvant therapy in patients achieving a deep response, a major pathologic response um, after neoadjuvant EP nivo, while if we uh, increase the treatment, uh, e.g. by uh, uh, giving a large surgery and, the, uh, and an adjuvant therapy plus synchronous radiotherapy, in the non-responders, whether we can then improve the outcome of these patients, because in previous trial they have about a two-thirds relapse, uh, the non-responders. Um, so to address this question, uh, we designed Prado in that way that uh, patients up front the neoadjuvant immunotherapy got placed a marker into the largest lymph, lymph node, the so-called index lymph node procedure which is well known in the breast cancer world, but it's not very well known in the melanoma world. And then the patients were treated with the, with the two causes, epinevo, and then only the largest lymph node or this marked lymph node was removed. The pathologist uh, uh, addressed uh, the pathologic response in this one lymph node. And if we had a major pathologic response, these patients were not treated with therapeutic lymph node dissection anymore and has also not have had any adjuvant therapy. If we had a partial response, the patient still received uh, the therapeutic lymph node dissection, but no adjuvant therapy. If we had a no response, we escalated, and then therapeutic lymph node dissection, adjuvant therapy, beer of wild adjuvant nivolumab, beer of mutated adjuvant deptram, plus synchronous radiotherapy. This was the design of the trial. So now the results we present here at ESCO, uh, for the first time, the two years major uh, two years relapse-free survival data. And for the whole cohort, it was two-year relapse-free survival 85%, with a distance metastasis free survival of 89%. The pathologic response was 71%, major pathologic response 62%. So these 62% of the patients uh, were not treated with any uh, extensive surgery, no adjuvant therapy. So now comes the question, what was the relapse-free survival for this group? It was 93% relapse-free survival and 98% distance metastasis-free survival. Clearly showing that you can really omit in, in more than 50% of the patients uh, the, 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 this extensive surgery, which translated in a way better quality of life statistics significant, for example, also for fatigue, even ongoing now up to two years follow up. Vice versa, now comes the question, is the extensive uh, treatment now improving the outcome of the non-responders? I remind you, normally you had only relapse free survival in the 36%. Now with this extensive therapeutic lymph node dissection, adjuvant therapy, at synchronous radiotherapy. We have now 71% uh, relapse-free survival at two years and 76% distance metastasis-free survival at two years. So clearly both goals to, on the one side, to improve the outcome of the non-responders, but also omitting the, 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 the surgery at the, at the, um, in the, in the risk major uh, responders, we achieve a good outcome in distance metastasis free survival for these patients. I think we are now at the advent that the neoadjuvant uh, therapy will become soon standard therapy. We have the SWOC trial, the S1801, uh, that, that will read out end of this year. We are com uh, uh, having the Nadina trial comparing neoadjuvant epinevo personalized uh, adjuvant therapy versus adjuvant nivolumab 
we hopefully will read out end of next year, but we are now coming to the point that after a long journey of small trials becoming bigger and bigger neoadjuvant, the neoadjuvant therapy might become standard after these two randomized trials. Yeah.